Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with CGCookie.com. And today in the States, we are celebrating Valentine's Day. So in spirit of the holiday, I'm going to go through a quick and easy way to create a rose in Photoshop. I'm going to lay down a single petal and use that to create the entire flower. Okay, let's get started. So in Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. I'll just name it Rose, and I'll keep it at a 10 by 10. Choose OK. I'm going to click F to full screen it, and holding space, I'm going to just move it in the corner. So on a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and create my um, rose petal. So I'm going to be using the hard edge brush with only the shape dynamics turned on. I'm just going to create kind of a thick rose petal that comes to a point near the top. Something simple. I could even clean it up just a little bit. Okay, so something just as simple as that. So now I'm going to create another new layer. And I'm going to mask out this petal layer so that I can get a um, solid gradient going. So while holding Command on a Mac, I'm going to choose the layer that I want to mask out. So I'm going to choose the layer that has my petal on it, and I have to choose that box. So you can see how I ha now have the marching ant selection around it. Now while I'm still in the new layer, I'm going to choose the mask, and you can see how it created a mask, and now if I click in the layer itself, if I grab a different color, you can see how it only will affect that layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a soft edge brush, I'm going to choose that red color by holding Alt and picking it up, and then going into my color selection, make it much darker, and I'm just going to lay it on near the bottom. And I'm going to grab that red again, make it a little lighter, a little more pink, and just kind of faintly um, touch the outside rim of the flower. Okay, so then that's pretty much the basis of what we're going to be using to create our flower. Now I'm going to collapse these two layers into one by choosing Command E, which will merge the layer down. So now we have one layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it all, copy and paste it. So to do that, I'm going to Command A to select all, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. See how it pastes a new petal? Then using my Move tool, I can go from there and rotate it and adjust it. And pretty much I'm going to repeat that process a few different times to get the outer um, edge of the rose. There we go. And now I'm going to do the same thing. But now when I paste it, I'm going to make it a little smaller. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around the perimeter. You can see how that, that's why we added the darker red to it, so that it looks like the petals, their shadow coming from the underside. I'm going to change the size of some of these out, outer ones a little bit. Okay, there we go. And once more, I'm going to go in, but I'm going to flatten it just a little bit. I'm going to go around the outside edge on that one. I'm 
So it's really just like sizing them up and then placing them um, in a way that looks correct. And when we get near the very center of the flower, we're going to make them really flat and um, narrow to really get the full effect that these are much smaller petals. Okay, so I'm not going to go any smaller than that, because that's about um, where I want to get. So when I zoom out, you can kind of see the um, flower dimension that came across with just using one petal. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my background layer, and while selecting one of the layers, I'm going to do Command-Shift-E, and that'll merge all visible layers. So you can see how all my layers turned into one flower layer. So now I'm going to select them all, Command-A, Command-C to copy, and then I'm going to undo merging all the layers. So if I hold Option, Command, and Z, press it twice, all my layers are back. So let's say I wanted to put all of the petals in a single folder in case I wanted to uh, manipulate it or edit it later. I can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to turn my background layer back on, and now when I click paste, I get a whole new uh, rose that I can go ahead and place, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, fill up the screen with these roses. You can turn them so that they're not all facing the exact same direction. Okay, and there we go. So that's just a quick and easy way to create a rose in Photoshop by using a single petal and copying and pasting. So I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.